In this video, I solve a numerical question about maximum likelihood estimator (MLE). MLE is the abbreviation of maximum likelihood estimator of P. P is the parameter of Bernoulli distribution, uh, and a random sample of size n is drawn from Bernoulli distribution. So we calculate MLE of P for the for the Bernoulli distribution. Here is the answer. It is given that the random variable x follows the Bernoulli distribution with parameter p, and the probability density function of Bernoulli distribution is p power x one minus p power one minus x, and the random variable x range from zero to one because Bernoulli distribution has two possible outcomes means yes no. male female so by definition of likelihood function for a random sample of size n it is denoted by l l is the notation mathematical notation for likelihood function and p is the parameter that we want to estimate I varies one to n pi pi i varies one to n pi notation is used for multiplication. For example, if we have random variable x, and uh, if uh, it has the multiplication like x one multiply x two so on x n, we use pi notation. And for addition, we use summation or sigma notation. So probability of p represent the probability. probability of xi p p is the parameter to be estimated so we write its pdf p power xi 1 minus p power 1 minus xi so when apply this multiplication by it is p sum of xi 1 minus p power n minus sum of xi how it is when you have i varies 1 to n pi P power x i, we write it as p power x one dot p power x two so on p power x n because this pi show the multiplication. So as you know, when base is same, we add the powers. So p power sum of x i. So here p power sum of x i, we apply the uh, uh, multiplication here, and one minus p. When multiply one n times, it is equal to n, n minus sum of x i. So this is equation A. So we take log both sides of equation A. Log of L of p, log of e, p per sum of x i into one minus p per n minus sum of x i. Use here product rule for logarithm in which. Take log of each number and use the addition sign between them. So the formula for multiplication is log of m plus log of n. Log of l of p plus log of e p per sum of x i plus log of e one minus p per n minus sum of x i. Here use power rule for logarithm. What is power rule? When to when you take log. Multiply power with log of the number. So log of e l of p plus sum of x i log of p plus n minus sum of x i log of one minus p. Differentiating both sides with respect to p, we get partial over partial p log of e l of p is equal to partial over partial p sum of x i log of e. p take um, one thing remember that take the natural log log of e means it is the natural log not the log with base 10 or with base 2 so we take log with base e means the natural log plus n minus sum of x i log of e 1 minus p here we apply the derivative sum rule in the derivative sum rule if you apply the derivative to two numbers take the derivative of individual number and sign remains the same which is addition so i apply the log to each term 
and here is the constant multiple rule in constant multiple rule when constant multiply with the number we take constant outside the derivative so sum of xi is the constant here we take it outside and partial over partial p log of p plus here n minus sum of xi is the constant we take the constant outside and the again apply the derivative to the log of 1 minus p now what is the derivative of log it is equal to 1 over x the variable uh, we, because our variable is x we want to differentiate it is equal to 1 over x and take the again derivative of x which is equal to 1 so derivative of log of x is equal to 1 over x so same um, apply here log of uh, p its derivative of 1 over p and partial p or partial p we cut this to um, and the when, when we cut this our answer is 1 so sum of xi over p plus n minus sum of xi over when when we uh, take the derivative of this term it is equal to 1 over 1 minus p and take the again derivative of 1 minus p n minus sum of xi over 1 minus p into minus 1 equating partial log of l of p over partial p equal to 0 0 is equal to sum of xi over p minus n minus sum of xi over 1 minus p so take the uh, take this term uh, to the other side sum of xi over p is equal to n minus sum of xi over 1 minus p by cross multiplication by cross multiplication p into n minus sum of xi is equal to 1 minus p sum of xi sum of xi minus p sum of xi n p minus summation xi p so take this term uh, to the right side n p is equal to sum of xi minus p sum of xi plus p sum of xi cut this with this sum of xi p is equal to sum of xi over n is equal to x bar so we find the MLE of P which is X bar if you want to see videos about types of statistical inference estimation difference between estimate and estimator then click the link in front of your screen if you like video then click on like and subscribe my channel statisticians club thanks for watching